Today we're going to be looking at percentage increase and decrease. Before we start looking at some examples, I just want to give you a sense of why we're so interested in percentage increase and decrease. Let me just give you an example. If I said, oh, the price is going to go up by two rand, is that going to worry you? Well, it really kind of depends on what you were talking about. If we're talking about, for example, a little packet of sweets, and if the sweets only cost three rand now, and I'm telling you, oh, the price is going to increase by two rand, can you see that two rand is quite a lot relative to the three rand you started with. However, if I'm talking about some big fat fancy car that costs, you know, 300,000 rand, if I tell you oh, the price of that car is going to go up by two rand, can you see that two rand is really not very much in relation to the price of the actual car where we started. So that's why we're interested in percentage increase or decrease. It helps us see how much is that increase or decrease in relation to the price we started with or the number we started with. Okay, let's look at a specific example now. If we want to know what percentage of the price of a burger increased if it went up from 20 rand to 22 rand. This is how we're going to work it out. Remember, when we were looking at the percentage increase, as I've just said, we're really interested in how much does it in, has, has it increased in relation to where it used to be, what the starting price was. So in other words, what we want to know is the amount by which it's increased, and we're going to divide that by the starting price, because that tells us what proportion it is of where we started, right? We started at 20 Rand. We want to know what proportion of that 20 Rand have we increased by. And because we want it as a percentage, we're going to turn it into a percentage. Now, how do we work out the amount it's increased? Well, hopefully you take one look and you say, well, if the price has gone from 20 to 22, obviously it's gone up by 2 Rand, all right? But if we couldn't work it out that quickly and easily, really the simplest way is you say, where did it end up at 22? Subtract where it started, and that'll give you how much it's increased by. Okay, so this is gonna be the little calculation we always use. Where did it end up? Where did it start, right? That gives you, if you subtract, gives you how much it increased by. We're going to look at that as a proportion of where it started from, and then we're going to use this to turn it into a percentage. All right, so here we go with our calculation. The end value was 22. The start value was 20, and we divide it by the start value, and then we turn it into a percentage. 22 minus 20, well that's 2, right? You can see that's the amount it's increased by. 2 over 20 multiplied by 100, and that's going to give you 200 over 20, and we just simplify that fraction nicely. 2 into 20 goes 10 times, so our answer is 10%. So if the price of a burger increased from 20 Rand to 22 Rand, it's increased by 10%. Okay, let me give you one to try now. Um, if the price of milk increased from 10 Rand to 11 Rand 20, by what percentage has the price of milk increased? You try this for yourself and we'll go over it. Okay, so here we wanted to, again, we're looking for a percentage increase and we know that what we want is the amount of increase and we work that out by saying end minus start and then we look at it as a proportion of the start so we divide by start and then we turn it into a percentage all right so where did the price of milk end up it ended up at 11 rand 20 where did it start it started at 
10 Rand. And so this is the calculation that I need to do. All right, 1120 minus 10 is 120 over 10 multiplied by 100. 120 multiplied by 100. Remember when we're multiplying, right, decimals, if we got two zeros, we go 1, 2, it becomes 120 over 10. And we can simplify this fraction nicely to get our answer of 12%. And can you see here what we're saying is if you took 10 Rand and you added on 12% of that 10 Rand, that's when you'd get to that 11 Rand 20. Okay, but our answer here is the price of milk has increased by 12%. All right, now we're going to look at percentage decreased. So we've got the story where the packet of sweets drops in price from 4 Rand 50 to 3 Rand 60, and we want to know what percentage the price decreased by. Now, in fact, when you're really good at dealing with negative numbers, you can in fact just use the same old formula, end minus start over start times 100%. But because you might still need a bit of practice with negatives, let's rather just do it using the simple idea that to calculate a percentage decrease, like to calculate a percentage increase, you really want to look at how much did things change by, right? So how much did your price drop by? In relation to, in proportion to, the price you started at. So exactly the same story we had for percentage increase, where you look at how much did things change in relation to where you started, and then you do this little thing just to turn it into an actual percentage. Now, we've got here 4 and 50 to 3 and 60. I actually, and I'm just, I really don't feel like dealing with decimals, it's going to be difficult. So in fact, if I turn this into a price in cents rather than in rand, I don't have to deal with decimals then. So 4 Rand 50, I can talk about that's 450 cents. And 3 Rand 60, that's 360 cents. You're going to get the same answer if you carry on with um, Rands, but you're just going to have to work with decimals, and I'm preferring not to. Okay? So 450 to 360, how much did things change? Well, I can see, obviously, that the change, I can work out by just saying 450 minus 360. Right, but the very important thing is when I'm looking at percentage increase or decrease, I always want to know it in relation to where things started. So where did this price of the packets of sweets start? It started at 4 Rand 50. So I have to look at it in relation to where things started, which is at 450 cents. And then I could use this to turn it into a percentage. Okay, 450 minus 360, that gives me 90. I get 90 over 450 multiplied by 100. Okay, let's try and cancel this a little bit. That'll cancel with that. 9 goes into 9 once and into 45. It goes 5 times. And I'm going to have 1 times 100. It's 100 over 5. 100 over 5, well, how many 5s are there in 100? 20 of them. So the answer here is 20%. So it's dropped by 20%. Okay, here's one I want you to try for yourselves. Pause now and do it in your homework book. All right, so the percentage decrease, like the percentage increase, you're always just looking at how much did things change in relation to where you started and then turn it into a percentage. All right, important thing, where did things start? Well, they started with 40 learners in accountancy and it dropped down to 32. All right, so how much did things change? Well, it dropped from 40 to 32. That's going to be a change of 8, right? 40 minus 32 is 8. And you have to do that in relation to where you started. And so you have to look at that in relation to 40. And then you do this to turn it into a percentage. All right. Uh, 8 goes into 8 once, into 45 times. So you've got, again, 100 over 5. And that is going to be a 20% decrease. 
Let's have a look at a scenario now where they tell us what the percentage increase is and we want to work out how much actual money will be involved. So say, for example, I earn 3000 a month and my boss, my manager earns 20000 a month and the big boss says, OK, I'm giving everybody a 12% increase. Now, my first question for you to think about is, if the big boss says he's give, going to give everybody a 12% increase, does that mean that me and my manager, we're both going to get exactly the same extra. So will we bo both be getting the same amount extra? We know we're both getting 12%, but in terms of actual cold hard cash in our hands, will we be getting that same amount extra? Just think for a moment for yourself and jot down what you think the answer is. All right, let's do the calculations to see what will happen. So let's look at my increase. So what will my increase be? The boss has said, I'm going to get an increase of 12% of 3,000 Rand. So 12% of 3,000 Rand, it's 12 over 100 of 3,000. And so what we get is... 12 times 3,000 over 100 times 1 is just 100. And let's cancel here where we can. Now here we've got 12 times 30, and I can do that by saying 12 times 3 is 36. So 12 times 30 is 360. So the increase I'll get is 360 Rand. What will my new salary be? Well, I'll take 3,000 and add the 360 to it, right? And it'll be 3,360. All right, what will my manager's increase be? Well, my manager is also getting 12%, but my manager is getting 12% of 20,000 Rand. So it's going to be 12 over 100 times 20,000 which is going to be 12 times 20,000 over, okay, 100 times 1 is just 100. Let's cancel this down a bit. Dun, dun. And now we've got to do 12 times 200. So I can do 12 times 2 is 24, right? And then the 100, so it's going to be 2,400, which is just 2,400. Okay, so can you see, even though, my boss, I mean, my manager and I both get a 12% increase. My manager's increase is a lot more in actual money, 24,000. And why is that? Because my manager's increase was 12% of 20,000, whereas mine was only 12% of 3,000. So 12% of 20,000 is a whole lot more. So my manager's new salary will be 22,400. My new salary will be 3,360. Okay, let's give you one to try now. Um, shirt costs 144. Uh, the shop gives you 25% discount. Discount means they take away, right? They take away 25% of the price. Um, and I want to know how much you're going to pay. Okay, I want you to try this in your homework books. And let's pause the video now and you try it and then we'll go over it. Okay, so what is the actual discount that the um, shop gives you? Well, they actually give you a 25% discount of the price of 144 Rand, right? So they're going to take away 25% of 144 Rand. 25% is 25 over 100, and you're going to multiply that by 144 Rand. And 25 over 100, hopefully you know by now, that's the same as 1 over 4, because that's going to make things much easier to calculate. And that's going to be 1 times 144 over 4 times 1. Okay, so what we've got is 144 over 4. 4 goes into 14, it goes in 3 times, remainder 2. And 4 goes into 24, 6 times. So it's 36 Rand, the discount. So 
Have we answered the question? No, because the question is how much will you actually pay for the shirt? Well, you will pay. Not 144 Rand, but 144 minus the 36. And 144 minus 36 is going to be of you 108 Rand.